to read her shirt that uh, she, she's actually kind of fun to sit and talk to because yeah, it's, that's kind of a kiss off kind of shirt right there. It's his shirt. Yeah. I was feeling around in his drawers in the dark. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 um, had a pretty cool day so far. I mean, uh, started off um, looking at YouTube and, and kind of we watched a live with uh, Frank and Tina from the Adventures of Frank and Tina uh, earlier today and just all the people that were there. I mean, all the channels that showed up, everybody that was in the chat, I mean, uh, it just it really felt like family, you know. Uh, we were talking about uh, meeting and greeting folks and just, let me see, some of the folks he that were there. He was talking about meeting and greeting folks. I was just talking about meeting and greeting folks while he was watching their live. Meeting and greeting. Okay, I'm glad we got that ironed out. Um, so anyway, uh, Fred Henry uh, was in the chat, um, and, and he has a channel, and that's the name of his channel, is Fred Henry. I'm actually playing his uh, video right now. Yeah, and uh, let me see, Tony Walsh from Walsh Farms was in the chat. Uh, Rich, or excuse me, Rick, not Rich, um, but Rick from Lala Farms, uh, they were in the chat. Um, let me see, His Way Homestead was in the chat. Tony from uh, our Backwoods Cabin, I think it is. Um, now, I'm going to leave links and stuff in the description to this, by the way. So uh, if I mess up the channel names, I'm trying to do it off the top of my head. Um, but I'll, I'll leave the actual links in the description for everybody that we mention. But uh, like I said, Simply Jan. Did I say Simply Jan Homestead? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, she was there. Um, and, and if I forget somebody, I, I'm sorry, I'm not intentionally leaving you out, but... I mean, it was just a really great chat. I mean, everybody was uh, commenting, and hopefully the wind's not too terribly loud. Um, There's a wind uh, breaker setting on there, and it's it's on, but you'll still hear it. it. Apparently, it sounds like running water. Yeah. Instead of the wind now, so uh, I don't know which one's more annoying. Well, it's it's not like a big storm or nothing. It's it's just it's breezy out here. And, uh, well, speaking of Breezy, there's another channel that we watch, um, Just Breezy, and uh, she's a lot of fun. Um, enjoy watching her. She's, uh, I don't know, she's, she's just a lot of fun to watch. She does a lot of comedies. Um, her lives are always... Uh, Live. They're very lively, yeah. And, and the thing I like about Breezy is... I, I can manage to trip her up with things. Uh, you know, I'll say something about like vanilla Jim Beam, and for some reason that just tickles her pink, and, and she she'll get all off topic, and it's just I don't know, it's fun. But anyway, um, honestly, we we come out and you know we'll sit out instead of sitting on the porch, we'll sit on the tailgate, and that's kind of we just talk. Yeah, this is. We just uh, thought that you know, you guys might want to be in on it since it's not really alive we'll get to that kind of stuff yeah but i mean if i'm shooting a video i'll uh i'll shave i didn't shave today um show them yeah well if you can't see from there then that's about the best you get uh but yeah i mean usually if i'll shoot a video you know i'll brush my hair and i'll shave and, and all that stuff but man this is just this is this is about as close to live as you get without a live so you know this this is just just our afternoon. It's Friday afternoon, by the way. And now come watch us take a nap. <laughs> I'm sure that'd be a lot of fun. Kind of like a sleep stream. Um, oh, look at my time. Look at that. There's some little shoots coming up right there, like on the outside. Now, you guys can't see that, but she's pointing to her container garden over here. And uh, she's actually got time. She's got time. <laughs> there in the gray bucket. I feel farther away. You guys are farther away. I think you backed the camera up just a little bit. I like to back it up. Okay, I'm not going to go there either. Now you no, you can do it better. <laughs> I did it better. Yeah. Anyway, shout outs. 
Um, You're doing shout outs, okay. I guess I'm doing shout outs. We don't outs, usually sure. do shout outs when we talk, so. Not usually. <laughs> we do talk about the channels that we're watching. Yeah. So, so recently, excuse me, um, we had this spaghetti. Really lean yeah, we had spaghetti for lunch and I'm kind of. Gassy? Not necessarily gassy, but. Uh, not necessarily. Yeah, not yet anyway, but that's not what this is about. Um, what is it about? So recently, I started a series, and I've got several series that I'm running on my channel now, but my series is YouTubers in the Wild. And, uh... <gasps> really? <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Anyway, first one basically uh, kind of started with uh, Micah McGee. And that was probably well over a year ago. Uh, he was one of the from first... From McGee Homestead Adventures. Yes, Micah McGee from McGee Homestead Adventures. Um, M-C-G-I-E. Yeah. So, if you spell it M-C-G-E-E, -E, you can actually find his channel. You have to misspell it to find it. You um, really do. Yeah. Um, cause YouTube, even if you spell it right, they'll misspell it they'll and they'll send you to the misspelling, it, yeah. but it's the correct channel. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really weird. Um, but, uh, just one of those, uh, anomalies, I suppose, in, in YouTube. But, uh, so yeah, our, our very first, uh, YouTubers in the wild was, uh, we went and met Mike and McGee. He had actually, uh, I, I guess Ernie had won some sort of drawing for some peppers and, peppers. uh, he was going to mail them to her. But, uh, once we realized that we were, do I have any that are right? I don't see any over no, there. No, I, I don't. And, I and harvested she's the looking, last ones looking back at the, uh. Yeah, the, the peppers and stuff over there. Anyway, um, so he was going to mail the box of peppers to her, but uh, once we realized that we were close enough, mm -hmm. we went and met him. Um, so anyway, that was basically the first one in, in our series. And uh, that was long before I even had the idea of starting a series. So then uh, our second YouTuber in the wild, uh, we met Arkansas Jeff. And he actually lives close by here where we're at now. Um, we were out in town, and uh, he's he's got the YouTube banner uh, as a sunshade across the top of his windshield on his truck. And uh, so we saw him going the other way, and of course Ernie's like, hey, look, 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 it's Arkansas Jeff. You Shit. can't help but see it. That truck is larger than mine. Yeah, yeah, it's a big white, uh, it's, a, it's a Dodge, it's a special edition Dodge uh, Ram truck, and I don't remember the edition exactly, but uh, yeah, this big banner across the windshield, couldn't miss it. So anyway, we turned around in traffic, jumped the curb, went through the uh, drive-through at the bank backwards, and you know, a couple of. He's actually not <laughs> kidding. He's not. He's making it sound so much more tame than what it was. So we caught up to him. Uh, he was actually meeting somebody, and he had stopped at the Walmart parking lot where he was going to meet somebody. And we caught up to him there, and uh, we did an impromptu uh, meet and greet out there in the Walmart parking lot. And you can go back, and uh, there'll be a link. That you can see that video if you'd like, mm -hmm. but uh, so it was nice meeting Arkansas Jeff, and then well, wait a minute before we go any further, we call YouTube YouTubers in the wild when you're not at your house because we did meet someone at his house, and that was the Rooster Garden. Now this is true. This is true, and, and a lot of them may not yeah. even know who he is. Yeah. So uh, let's the, talk about the Rooster Garden. Well, let's talk about the Rooster Garden. We decided to take a trip. Um, and he lives somewhere, I want to say, maybe to the southwest of Little Rock, a place called Benton, Arkansas. Oh, should I say that? He, um, he's, he says it all the time. I think it's okay. Okay. So, uh, so anyway, we decided that we were going to go see him, and uh, we told him we were coming. And, uh, yeah, so we took a little road trip, and that was, I don't know, hour and a half drive for us, I think. But when we go to your house, we're not telling you that we're coming. We're just going to show up on your doorstep. That'll be a lot of fun. Uh, get met with shotguns and baseball <laughs> bats and who knows what. Um, so yeah, we went over and we met uh, the Rooster Garden is his channel name. Okay, so you all remember that he made this really cool plant pot out of cement and a bathroom carpet <laughs> and maybe some paint. So he does stuff like that. But it's named the Rooster Garden, even before he was showing any chickens and rabbits and stuff like that, which he now has. 
and quite a few. <laughs> so um, his channel has... He didn't has, have any roosters. I was surprised. Yeah, his channel has evolved a lot even just since we saw him last. So uh, I think it would be a good idea if maybe you all checked out the Rooster Garden. He is a very nice man and he... Well, actually, there's two of them there and they're starting to do a lot more work together on the, the video. So... Um, John and the Rooster Guard, and I call them the Rooster, John and the Rooster, they are doing a whole lot with their tomatoes, and, and you know, I don't have a, a high tunnel just yet, but they, they string their tomatoes down, well, okay, they put strings down, and they tie their tomatoes up, the tomatoes so they're up. still That's growing strings. vertically without poles and stuff like that, it's literally strings, but it's so cool walking through there, yeah. and they have lots of stuff. I got to taste some of his hot pepper sauce, which it was a, a neat experience, I'll say that. But everything they do is organic. They don't treat their stuff. If the bugs want to eat it, let the bugs eat it because all they do is pick it, wash it off or wipe it off and eat it right there in the garden. I'm like, no kidding. That's what he was doing most of the time that we were there. Here, try this. Yeah. <laughs> and what's cool about it is they live in, no kidding, a suburban neighborhood. Um, and they've got all of that stuff growing. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, there ain't a whole lot of yard that's not dedicated to growing something. And that's okay, too. Um, but, yeah, it was really cool how he had, food, used, grass. he had used all of that space, which was limited, but he was still able to produce so much food just right there in his backyard. And now and he's got the chickens and the rabbits. And yep. I thought I saw some ducks. Uh, in yesterday's video, the day before, something like that. So anyway, um, we did not, well, okay. We did take a video. He ended up posting his before I posted mine, and so I decided not to post mine, and now I can't find it. Um, so that's the reason why you don't see that as episode two in YouTubers for the Wild, or YouTubers in the Wild. Yeah, keep the Plus the fact that it's, you know, at his house. Um, Technically not the Wild. Not really, but I mean, his backyard isn't home a is typical domestic backyard. Domestic and away from home is wild. Yeah, there, yeah, that. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, all right. So anyway, moving on. Let me see. We've covered episodes Arkansas one, Joe. two, episode. Um, Cooper's barking because my son's back. He yeah. sees the truck pull in, and so yeah, Cooper's barking. Yeah, yeah. They get really happy when the kids come back. That's Cosmo and, and Cooper. And, yeah, there's, there's a lot of dogs. If, if you guys don't already know and you don't watch, I forgot to mention Ernie Hatmaker's channel. Um, Who is that? Yeah. So if, if you don't watch her channel, uh, you might not know about the dogs. I don't talk that much about the dogs uh, because she does so much. Uh, it's pretty much why I don't have them on my, my channel. But anyway, okay. The dogs also have their own channel. It's called Dandy Pets, and it's in my feature channels list. Actually, I think it's called recommended viewing but yeah yeah so um you'll see clips that you won't see on my channel on that one but i also show them and the next time that we had a meetup um another channel that's that's pretty local to us or only about 10 or 12 miles away who could uh, that be it was tocito homestead tocito homestead another yeah. name you guys may be familiar with because of his youtubers in the world but if you're not you should go over there and check them out because they're doing some really interesting things. Yep. What do they travel with, Ed? Absolutely. Man, you wouldn't believe it's like a traveling circus. Well, I can't say circus. They have a traveling petting zoo. And so every weekend, it seems, watching their videos, they're loading up uh, animals and putting them, you know, trailers and this and that. And, and they're going somewhere and setting up petting zoos. Cows. So, Pigs. Yeah. Chicken, I mean, you, you name it and they got it. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. So that is a business that they run on top of a few other things that they do. But a really interesting homestead. Um, Amber and Josh are their names. And uh, I heard about them through Arkansas Jeff. Of course, Ernie had heard about them also. And uh, I just went over, said hello on one of the videos. It was kind of an in-passing thing. Honestly, I didn't watch the video, um, but it was a giveaway video. I was not even aware of it. Yeah, and, and we, we usually 
support people yeah. by by sometimes they'll go to the watch later or sometimes you'll put, put play and then you walk off yeah. you all know how you do stuff you yeah. want to support someone but you don't have time to just sit there and, and that's what happened so he was not aware it was a giveaway yeah. and i got uh I, I had the video sitting in my watch later queue um like i said i've made a comment on it and then just threw it over to watch later intending to come back and watch it um, and before I know it, these tomatoes have flowers on them. Yeah, there's flowers on the tomatoes. Oh my so God. here it is, uh, the middle of September, and our tomatoes are still flowering. It's like that all of these so plants awesome. right here. Sorry, Tositos. Sorry. So, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so I went a giveaway, and uh, we talked to them, uh, set the uh, the meet up, and uh, went over, and, and of course you can watch the video and see what else happened from there. Excuse me. Remember spaghetti. Um, so. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was the meetup episode number two, I think is how I have it labeled. It was actually the third meetup. No, the fourth meetup. I heck, I'm confusing myself now. Probably confusing y'all too. Um, and then, is there another one? Is there another one? So, on Memorial Day, we went to West Memphis, Arkansas. It was about an hour drive, and we had it breakfast. Memorial Day is May the 31st. Okay, on Labor Day. <laughs> one of them holidays. Uh, everybody gets time off from work. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to have to edit that out probably. So on Labor Day, we drove to West Memphis, Arkansas, and we met Tim from Ridge Life. And that is his channel name. And I, Tim at Ridge Life. That's his channel well, name. His channel name is Ridge Life. And usually she's wearing his shirt that came in a little package. But, because uh, it, it, it gets, you know, all the dirt that I don't want my other shirts to get. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, we had breakfast with Tim at Cracker Barrel. And uh, that's actually one of my more recent videos. And I know that a lot of you have probably watched that. But if you haven't, I encourage you to go over and take a look. We had a great time. So now... Uh, to this morning we're talking with um, Frank and Tina at the Adventures of Frank and Tina we're talking with Fred Henry on the chat um, Walsh Farms La La Farms um, it's a whole lot of people in one state yeah no kidding and I thought well, North Carolina had all the homesteaders well, now La La Farms is actually in northern Florida if I remember correctly he's in Georgia yeah it's pretty much South Georgia um, <laughs> And if you're a Florida Gators fan, you probably hate hearing that, but, you know, anyway. Uh, so, we are planning uh, sometime here in the real near future to go down and try and have a meetup with some of those channels. So, yeah. Fred Henry and Frank and Tina, they live within, the way I understand it, like 30 miles of each other. And uh, that is within maybe 10 or 15 miles of the interstate that we're going to be traveling to go down. So we're going to try and meet them. Uh, I don't know if that'll be two together, if we're going to meet them separately. We haven't worked the details out yet. Uh, Walsh Farms, who uh, actually has sent us some syrup, uh, sugarcane syrup. Sent us some sugarcane syrup. Yeah, and we did a video uh, taste testing that, and I mean, Ernie got all kind of sugared up and hyped up, and. Uh, Anyway, we'll leave a link to that video as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, um, so we've been talking with Tony over at Walsh Farms, and we're going to do a meetup when we go down. And uh, hopefully we can get to see La La Farms as well. Hey, Friday. Hey, Friday. How you doing? Come here. Come here, Friday. Huh? Come, come here. Hey, Friday. She's a heavy girl, isn't she? Yeah, she's a big heavy girl. So, anyway... So this is Friday. This is one of the uh, the, one of the blue healers, and uh, she's probably what, nine months, ten months old, maybe a year. Yeah, she's about a year. So so anyway, I don't think she likes being up here in my arms. I think she likes licking the spaghetti. Uh, so anyway, okay, I'm gonna put you down. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> she wants to get back up there. Yeah, I know. She's gonna yeah, <laughs> yeah. see. Yeah, she wants to get yeah, back up I here. Yeah, I see. So. Anyway, uh, yeah, back and to, uh, but uh, we're, we're planning on trying to meet um, those four channels, and uh, it'd be really cool if we could, like, meet them all at once and just have, like, this massive uh, meetup, but we'll, we'll see. 
Uh, if not, uh, something to look forward to. So, but support those guys. Go check out their channels. If you're not subscribed to them, please subscribe. Each and every one of them have really great content. Uh, Frank and Tina. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Frank and Tina, I'm not real sure to what, what to say about. They're just fun to watch. I mean, they, they post a variety of video subjects, and uh, I, I love it when they do the current events and news. Oh yeah, Tina's breaking news. Tina, Tina's got her own channel, um, and I believe that's Colette Fry. Um, is that correct? Anyway, that sounds uh, right. She she does a, a, a news story, and she'll just have you rolling in your chair. Um, it, it's hilarious. She'll get so tickled that she can't even finish what she's reading. And, and it's just it's funny to watch. But uh, they seem like really great people. Looking forward to meeting Frank and Tina. Uh, Fred Henry, um, he builds models. But what I just come to learn today, and that was the video that Ernie was looking at earlier, Fred Henry grew up in the country and he's kind of missing the whole homestead thing. You know, so uh, he's living vicariously through stuff that we're doing other channels he mentioned in his video today. He mentioned uh, Mike and McGee, McGee's Homestead Adventures. He mentioned uh, Simply Jan from uh, Simply Jan or Jan from Simply Jan's Homestead. So anyway, uh, another great channel, a lot of good content. Um, when I started watching her channel, they were just beginning to search for their homestead. And now they have arrived and it's, you know, a very interesting process to start watching. Not going to give you any spoilers. We want you to check her out. Yes, but please do go over and check out Jan. She at... will support anybody. She does shout out after shout out after shout out. Yes, absolutely. And she's in everybody's comments. Just awesome. And like I said, Frank and Tina do the same thing. Shout outs. Oh um, my God. Gosh, Frank and Tina, except for when, you know, they're being Frank and Tina, they are actually a, a walking shout-out all through their lives in every video. And then, of course, uh, they've been keeping us updated on the Shad Wars things and all that. So, I mean, there are some busy people on YouTube. Fred Henry, he, he did a shout-out uh, earlier. And uh, so I just want to say thanks to all of you guys that have shouted my channel out. Um, Pretty much anytime you shout me out, you, you toss Ernie in the mix as well, and, and I appreciate that. Even though we He's have separate channels, the same. yeah, I mean, even though we have separate channels, uh, you know, it's, it's almost like a two for one. Yeah, a two for. Um, so. You better be careful with that. Really? I didn't say a three for. Um, yeah. Listen, the wind chimes are blowing. Yay! It's recording, and you're blind as a bat. Yeah, I don't have my glasses on. You're right. That's that's all I got for you. I appreciate you watching. Thanks again, guys. And remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.